Always like a Sugimori art. Ooh, ooh, that looks like booster packs. <gasps> Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. So, hello everyone. Today we're going to open some very nice Japanese packages. I got 10 of them. I think that will be enough for one episode, but as you know, I have a bunch more at home. So, you know, let's have some fun. Let's crack these bad boys open. Um, for today's episode, we have some antioxidant smoothie, super smoothie. So, healthy. This one looks pretty poorly packaged. You know, it looks like it has been through some shit. So let's start with this one. Always gonna be very careful with the scissors because I don't wanna cut anything that's inside of the package. So the look inside. Ooh, ooh, that looks like booster packs. Um, oof, yes. That's what I like to see. Mysterious Mountains packs. So that's basically the second set of Skyrich in Japanese because in Japanese, Skyrich came in two sets. Uh, called Split Earth and Mysterious Mountains. Uh, and this one is the second one, it's called E5 as well, because it's the fifth e-reader set in Japanese. And uh, this is a set where you can get the infamous Crystal Charizard. So pretty cool set overall. Let's get a close-up of that artwork by Midori Harada, or with the American pronunciation, Midori Harada. Little city in the background. Always love it when they include like little architectural like old cities, stuff like that. So yeah, and we got a first edition pack and an unlimited one. Nice variety. A great way to start off. Gotta have a little sip for that. No. Nice. Let's do a crappy one now. This one. Let me tell you about Japanese packaging. You know, there are, there are two Japanese people. There is my man Haru and my man Tanaka. And this was packaged by Haru. He's a good guy, but he doesn't know how to package shit. And basically he just takes a plastic bag, puts the item in it, he throws it in. You know, from a distance, he throws it in the plastic bag and then he slaps some tape on it. And that's the package. Okay, I'm through the outer layers of the plastic bag. Looks like something sealed. Ooh, nice. That's dope. It's kind of messed up, like from the side, it's kind of bent, but still very cool item. Wow. This is like some sort of case to keep uh, stickers in, I'm pretty sure. And it has some very nice Sugimori artwork. As you can see, the Mew right here. And then we got some Blastoise action going at the right corner. Oh, this is very nice. And then that holographic Chansey Hyper Sticker Collection. Wow. Very cool shit. I think I know what's in here, so let's do this next. I think this should be a card. Because I got this from uh, TCG Republic. Very nice side for singles, for single cards. Check them out, TCG Republic. Also very nice packaging. That's, this is packaged by my man Tanaka. And Tanaka is very good at packaging. And this is like the good kind of tape. You know, you don't like to see tape on packages, but this kind of tape I could handle any day. It's like sticky, but not too sticky. It's, it's perfect for bubble wrap, a little cardboard for protection. And we got a CD for protection. Okay, and then we got another layer of protection, a lot of layers, but that's the way I like it. Then more layers of protection with these sleeves. Oof, yes, I see some good stuff right here. So first thing we got is this Metagross, and this is from the VS Movie Deck with the Lenticular Deoxys. I might let it show up on screen or something. Let's take a look at that artwork by Hajime Kusajima. Let's look at the corners. It's looking pretty good, not perfect, made like PSA 7, 8, but I'm happy with that. Then we got this, oof, nice. I like that. That's a Plus La Minon promo 2006 from the Japanese Touch Exchange battle. I see a little something at the right edge right here. But other than that, looks really good. So that might actually be PSA 9 material. And then we got this last one, this Raichu promo. Uh, I'm not too sure what this is from. I just thought it looked cool. It's uh, from black and white era, so pretty nice. And I just picked it up. Okay, what is this? It's very thin, as you can see. 
gonna try to cut this very carefully. Ooh, nice. Some stamps. If you follow my Instagram page, you know I'm a sucker for stamps. These are all produced by a um, Pokemon publishing company in Japan called Shogakukan. So first we have this Elite Four sheet with the four Elite Four members and their Pokemon. Well, the Elite Four themselves are not on here, but the Pokemon are beautiful. And then we got these two. Oh, awesome. These are pretty rare. These thin sheets. We got the three starters right here. Evolution lines. Pikachu, Clefable, Wigglytuff, a little bit of damage right there. Something you're gonna see very often with these, like little bits of damage. Ooh, legendary birds, evolutions, and the fossils. Let's have another look at these together. Pretty rare items actually. I don't see a lot of people collecting those, collecting those but they are beautiful. So if someone wants to start collecting those, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's awesome, not much people are on it. Okay, next package. This is pretty thick, thick boy. Um, yeah, a lot of weight to it. Actually, this looks like it has been opened before. Yeah, probably done by Customs. Customs just ripped it open, checked for drugs, didn't find any. Well, actually, they may have found drugs because these things are like drugs to me. Bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, I know what this is. Sorry, Pokemon fans, but this it's time to duel, you know what I mean? It's just time to duel. Let me explain, this is a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh calculator. You ever tried to be the coolest kid on the playground? You ever tried that? With this, you're not gonna have to worry about that anymore, you know? You wanna be the coolest kid on the playground? You wanna not get bullied? Let's see if it works. <laughs> it doesn't work, okay. <laughs> I might have to check for batteries. Um, I think this is from TCG Republic again, so probably gonna be single cards. Let's have a look in here. A nice tape. Well, actually, yeah, just put it like this. Ooh, I see something good. The real ones will know what this is right away. Let's just check. Yes. This is what you want to see in a Japanese opening. Altomare, VS Movie Deck, fifth movie. Theater Limited, Larios Larias by Mitsuhiro Arita. Two artworks that fit together very well. And I just love these. Do I see a hollow bleed? I think I do. It's not that visible. You can see a little bit right here. Yeah, a little hollow bleed. Nice. Let's check conditions. Yeah, wow, that's looking really good actually. This Larios, from what I can tell right now in front of the camera, but I'll have to check later. Could go for a 10 actually. This is gem mint. Wow. Let's check Larias. Holy shit. Yeah, I know I'm lo looking at them through the sleeves. I'm not supposed to do that, but I want to keep them protected from my greasy little fingers. You know, you notice I have thick fingers? Yeah, I do. I think these are gem mint. What the hell? That's like. <laughs> Wow, I think I paid like under 30 for each, so that's a very good deal. Gotta put these in a top loader. One final look. Damn, if they really are as mint as I thought, really gonna have to get these graded. That deserves another sip. This room is really hot. Let's do this one. The one that looks like a book and feels like a book. You know, I have to really try to not open these off camera because the temptation was there, man. And I just stayed up all night smelling these, looking at these, touching these. Wow, it's already look. what the hell? That's probably a very nice message in Japanese because Japanese people are always polite, but uh, yeah, someone can translate that for me or I will do it myself later. Wow, that's looking awesome. Little Game Boy, Game Boy guide book, something like that. Guidebook. Look behind the background. That's second generation. Awesome. We're not gonna go through all of this, but let's just pick out some random pages. Always like it. Sugimori art. Nice. Pikachu on a swing. Some other games. 
That's cool, man. I like that. Oh, yes. Yes. I fucking love maps. I don't know why. I like when I see a map, I just feel it. And right now I'm feeling it. Right here's Johto, Johto region, Kanto region. Let's see if there are any cool details. Well, we got the, the power plant where Zapdos resides. With a little steam coming from it. We got the Acritic City, Acritic City Tower. Uh, we got Mount Silver. Very cool. Love it. Okay. Now we got this very weird thing right here. That's definitely packaged by Haru. Haru! I really don't know what to say. Like, this is just poor packaging. Don't do me like that. Man, I'm sweating out here. Gotta drink more. Gotta stay hydrated, stay antioxidated. What the fuck? Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. A little magic arp. Published by Shogakukan, you can read it in the corner right there. Shogakukan, same um, publishing company that makes the stamps you saw earlier. Let me get them. So that's all published by the same company, Shogakukan. And they also made these metal little stamps. And uh, they, these actually came in sealed packs where you didn't know which one you were gonna get. And I think I have a bunch of those sealed coming in as well, so we might open some. That should be interesting. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cute, pretty cool. And I probably got this one just because I like Magikarp. Magikarp is my guy. Everyone loves Magikarp. You just like Magikarp. That's how it goes. Okay, I think it's time for a little something different. Dinosaur stickers. So this is like a little segment of the show I thought of. I thought it would be interesting. So we got Mosasaurus with big, big open mouth. These are in Dutch, so I will translate. And uh, he get, has, you know, says Kracht right here on top. That means power or strength. Then we got speed and then we got stealth or sneakiness. And this guy has a lot of power, a lot of power, but he's not very sneaky. Then we got the blue Raptor. And that's already the last one. I'm not sure if this is a good pull, but uh, yeah, this guy, ooh, those are some good stats, man. He got six power, but he got 10 speed and nine stealth. That's sneaky little boy. Okay, I see one more thing right here. Oh, damn, look at those stamps. That's why I love Japan. Okay, let's fucking go. Oh, yes, yes, these are Pokemon playing cards from Japan, obviously. We got the gym leaders right here as a Joker card with Giovanni being a bit dark, covered in darkness. We got Pikachu, let's go through this quickly. I won't even bother turning them around because there are so many and I want to keep this episode short. Yeah, let's look at the back actually, that's, that's a Charizard. So, you know, it's got to be worth something, right? It's Charizard. Um, little boy. Little carp. I will turn Magikarp around. He deserves it. Little blackface jinx going on right here. Yeah. And then we got my man Oak. Reginald Oak. I'm not sure what his first name was. He has a first name, but I forgot. No, it's actually Sam. Samuel Oak. Yeah, that's real name. Samuel see if there's anything interesting um, yo my recording got fucked somewhere around here but uh, I think we were at red and then we had some other critters out here Mewtwo that's awesome but uh, yeah these seem to be a little bit dirty but I don't mind you know they're nostalgic I like them I like to get a little dirty sometimes beautiful Japanese playing cards I think I have one package left final one get that shit in focus yeah should be this one and I gotta be honest with y'all you know most of this is a surprise to me most of these packages I don't know what it is because you know it's just a big batch of like 137 packages so really I don't have a clue what is in what but this one I've been touching I've been touching late at night you know I've been feeling that shape and it's a shape I would recognize anywhere but then I noticed that customs has opened that shit again 
You see that right here? This has been ripped open and it just like put a little tape on it. Thought it was fixed. I don't feel any bubble wrap. I just feel feel the shape. No bubble wrap in here. So if this is damaged, I'm gonna I'm gonna shed a little tear, I think. Okay, oh there's actually a little bubble wrap. Little nice little note. We need to poo. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's read that later. Okay, let's first read this note. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you, Japanese person. I really appreciate that. That's very nice of you. And actually there was bubble wrap. So yeah, you could probably already tell what this is just by looking through the bubble wrap. I want to do this very carefully because this is just the absolute peak of this episode. This is... Oh. 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 Yes. God damn. Okay, so this is... Fifth movie, Alto Mare, Theater Limited, Movie Deck, Half Deck, um, with Ladios and Ladias probably inside, but those two cards are not everything because, you know, we got this card before. Yeah, these two cards are in here, as you can tell. But uh, just every single card in this deck is phenomenal. There's like Kabutops, Aerodactyl, Espeon, Politoed, and more cards. You know, it's all Japanese exclusive artwork. This thing is just perfect. And it seems to be in great condition. Wow, no creases, because this thing often comes with a lot of creases, a lot of damage, but I don't see anything. Like even the bottom, this is often very dented, but this shit looks great. Yes, little coin right here. So let me tell you why this item is so great. Why this item is so perfect. Um, first of all, it's Japanese exclusive. This shit did not come out in English. Um, not anywhere, just in Japan. All the artworks in here are Japanese exclusive and they are some great artworks, as you can tell. Second of all, it's linked to the fifth movie. So anything that's like linked to the anime, linked to the games, linked to the movies, it's pretty cool to me. I just like that. A little extra something to look at. Third, it just looks great, sealed. You know, a lot of sealed product doesn't look great, but Japan just does it right. And um, this thing looks fucking phenomenal. Like Mitsuhiro Arita artwork, Ladios Ladias, the Eon duo. Yeah, this shit's just perfect. Another little interesting fact about this deck is actually that um, this these cards are the only cards in Japanese where third generation Pokemon got the E-series card design. So the E-reader border actually never came with third generation in Japan. It actually did in English, but not in Japan. So that's why this is also like, this was just on the transition between second and third generation. Pretty unique stuff. Yeah, I think this was a great episode. We got some awesome stuff. Let's just have a little recap right here. The movie deck, playing cards, the Game Boy book, these two gem mint cards from the same deck as this. We got the Magikarp thingy, stamp, pin. Yeah, it's called a pin. We got two Skyreach packs, sealed sticker collection thing. Nice little promo card, more nice little promo cards, a lot of cardboard. We got some very nice stickers, dinosaur stickers. Also got the stamps. If we can focus, yeah, we can. Um, yeah, I hope I'm gonna, I didn't fuck anything up with the recording. I hope I didn't forget anything. Let me check the garbage. Well, this is not garbage. This is a note I will treasure forever. If you enjoyed this, please spread the word, share this video, like, comment, subscribe, you know what it is. Penetrate that subscribe button. Leave a little nice, nice comment saying something nice to me. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.